Smoke ass session, ho. Listen, we right back in this bitch. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, bitch. Tell your motherfucking mom and them. Show me love, but don't show me shit. Real niggas relate, bitch niggas and never understand. Listen, I wasn't gonna speak on this shit. I understand how this gangbang shit go. I understand how the politics work, my nigga. Believe it or not. And it's a lot of shit that go into that's intertwined and all it we seen we seen what happened. We seen the video. Seen India Red Boy get shot on live with his homeboy. It was speculation that it was due to some vandalism on the Nipsey Hustle mural. Of course, we all just on the outside looking in, my nigga. Listen, I'm just here to bring you the motherfucking news. You don't like what I do, then uh, stay the fuck off my two. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> don't shoot, shoot the messenger, nigga. He might shoot back. <sighs> Apparently, we got somebody a little closer to the situation than all of us. And he gonna give us a little bit more insight on exactly what we're down with this shit. So let's dive right into this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Man, what's good, bro? So, I'm been looking at these videos and shit, right? Remember, this is all Big allegedly. And shit from the land. Allegedly. Hey, yeah, that was payback for Nipsey Hussle. Yada, 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 all this other good shit. It really baffles me because I don't even know. Do y'all niggas, do y'all niggas really believe that? For the OG that's on YouTube or on some type of platform in front of a camera singing that shit. Like, do y'all really believe that? And some of y'all crip niggas that's OG from the land that's saying this shit, not even from 60s. So again, like, do y'all really believe that Indian boy, huh, I'm gonna call him by his government name. You really believe that Zarell, mm. Zarell got killed by 60s over some shit that Baby Capone did? Y'all really believe that? Look, bro. I'm gonna tell you what happened. No, before I even say all that shit, right, look. That shit just ridiculous, bro. He got killed on Chad and Ave. That's in Hawthorne. Mm. Another thing too, I saw a blogger and this nigga got like, this nigga got like 80K mm. and over a thousand some comments and niggas are talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, yeah a lot of niggas be speaking on this shit. They don't know what the fuck they be talking about. Almost. Hawthorne, Hawthorne is not an avenue. Hawthorne is not a block. He got killed in Hawthorne on Chadron Avenue. Okay? First and foremost. Okay? So that nigga, he don't know shit what he's talking about. All right? Second, Zarell used to be Hollywood Power Room. Okay? Used to be Hollywood Power Room. What happened was, him and this nigga was both fucking on the same female. It was no secret. She was a Tatiana. She gets around. They pass her around. And his homeboy even talks him to bitch. Hell, you nigga, go ahead fuck on her. Mm. It was said by that female that Zarell was talking real greasy about his partner. Basically pillow talking. Basically just pillow talking. Okay. The female went and told Zarell partner, they say, man, blood saying this and that third about you. So that's when that's when homie went and approached Zarell and told Zarell, hey, nigga, what's up with all this other shit that I've been hearing? You pillow talking with this bitch or some of you and your feelings or something, my nigga? They end up getting into it, boom, they end up getting into a fight. They got into a fight right there in front of the homies, right there in the hood. Zarell ended up getting his ass beat up. His partner put feet, nails, and Elbows on that boy. Mm. All right. Whenever two homies is fighting and the other homies is present, they only gonna allow the fight to go so far. But in this situation, they did it because they know that Zarell is tender dick when it comes down to this female. They know it, nigga. You deserve that little ass whooping that you finna get, that you getting right now, my nigga. So, so far it's over a female. Listen, this is all allegedly. I'll be honest with you. This nigga must have been tired as hell of all of the shit on the internet. Because usually this shit stay in-house 
in the streets. Zarell pilot the nigga did not get off with of Zarell. Head. Okay, for those who might be lost, I'm talking about India, India boy. Zarell is India boy. Zarell, that's his government name. I'm glad right, he so said his government too. Whenever his partner got got through whooping his ass. The nigga felt some type of way, not only about the ass whooping and how they occurred, but the fact that the homies, the homeboy did not intervene whenever the shit took place. You feel what I'm saying? So that's when he said, fuck y'all niggas and went to Inglewood. Now, if you ask yourself, why, how, how <coughs> can Excuse this me. nigga go from one hood to Inglewood like that? Okay, first and foremost, when he was in middle school, he went to school with a lot of them niggas. Mm. He been knowing David Capone and all them niggas from Inglewood. So he was hood hopping. He been knowing them niggas. So whenever Hollywood did what they did to the nigga, it wasn't shit for him to go to Inglewood and be like, I say, nigga, I'm repping this now. You know what I'm saying? They put the nigga behind the building. He got his little fade in. Mm. And boom, now you hood. All right? He wasn't even Quoted in Inglewood that long. Amber alert. And then when he went over there, the nigga started dissing Hollywood. Like, come on, bro. Like, your problem was personal with one nigga behind a female. Your problem was personal behind a nigga with a female. Why are you dissing the hood? So, nigga, you had that coming. Mm. You had that coming. Allegedly, I don't... And the crazy part about it was, right, when this nigga went through... Listen, I'm just here to bring you the motherfucking news. If you don't like what I do, then stay the fuck off my tube. Now you know the rules. Chadron Avenue, he was pulling up on the same female that he was pillow talking with, the same female that went and told Zarell partner. The shit that Zarell was saying about him. Mm, sound like it's he went up and up. pulled up on the same female. I'm not saying that she set him up. Y'all can put two and two together and come up with four. Y'all can. But 60s did not have nothing to do with this man getting killed. 60s had nothing to do with this man getting killed, bro. And look at it like this here. Whenever that man did get killed, on no platform did you ever see, no Instagram did you did you ever see or find. A 60 claiming that body. 60. Why would... I don't know why would a nigga claim a body on the internet that go against every motherfucking rule. My nigga, they wouldn't do that, but maybe they would. I don't know. That Why would you claim that? On, on, on their hood. But everybody outside of them talking about, oh yeah, 60s did that shit because they don't know the backstory on what the shit that's really going on. You know what I'm talking about? But I can tell you this though, whenever that nigga did get killed, the first hood outside of Inglewood that did respond and made a statement on that shit was Hollywood Power Roots. Was the niggas. And them niggas was laughing, parlaying and some more shit. Sixties ain't kill that boy over no mural that baby Capone did. Nah, sixties ain't do that. It was Hollywood Power Root, bro, like on everything, bro. Real talk. Listen, I'm gonna be real. That was kind. He kind of. That was like a little lightweight, dry snitch. But he is a little closer to the situation. That's what it looked like, and it looked like he giving you a little bit more insight than what anybody else could give you. Because you know, a lot of motherfuckers are just running with whatever they can grab that motherfucker, whatever they can get their hands on, whatever they can make a headline with. Just here to bring you the news. You don't like what I do to stay the fuck on, but. My name is Hero, bitch. From the south side. If you ain't from my side, throw up your side like and subscribe. Real nigga shit.